This combination has come about because we believe that we are two like-minded businesses who are stronger together and um, creating a strong national brand together with the um, other firms that Slater & Gordon have acquired with an aim to be number one in the areas in which we operate in the United Kingdom. It's exciting for us because I think we are all absolutely committed to getting the best outcomes for clients. And by bringing the best lawyers together, that just gives us that breadth of experience and the depth of resources to be able to be there for clients. We want to be able to match up. So if a client, whether it be in a, in a claim against an insurance company, we want to be able to match up resources and have lawyers that are equally as good, preferably better than the uh, those on the other side. The same applies to being able to deal with people's day-to-day uh, -day problems, their family problems, or sorting out the issues that they might have in their businesses. We have already begun talking to our clients and our key contacts, explaining to them we expect this transaction to, to complete in February. Um, at that point, uh, we will remain in these offices and we will be city centre based law firm and over a period of time all the acquisitions made by Slater and Gordon in the North West will be put together um, and we will then um, be the largest uh, city centre, Manchester based city centre law firm but obviously we will have the other offices and access to the geography that Slater and Gordon presents um, for our clients. Even though we will be a large firm we will not lose the very personal feel which is absolutely at the heart of the service that Pannoni delivers to its clients and is core to Slater Gordon. We're really respectful of the achievements of that firm and its history over the, the many years of, of representing clients and it was really the, the identity of interest if you like in terms of the firms who've done similar work in the past so I don't think clients will notice any difference at all. The name itself is really well known and for very good reason and it'll take some time I think for that to be to come under the Slater and Gordon name uh, so there will be a period of transition but only when people are equally aware of the Slater and Gordon name would we uh, do anything that would change that recognition. Perhaps the starting point there is to explain the work that will be undertaken by Pannoni as part of Slater and Gordon. Um, and that will be in acting for um, clients in personal injury cases, clinical negligence cases in relation to court protection work. We also undertake financial services work, which will continue um, within Slater and Gordon. We have a significant family practice and combined with Slater and Gordon in relation to that, we will become, we believe, um, a market leading practice. Um, trust and probate work we will continue with. We will also act um, in employment disputes, acting for employees, which we do um, here at Pannonia and will continue to do within Slater and Gordon, in the disciplines of crime and regulatory, um, and also in relation to settling disputes um, for individuals. Slater and Gordon also, and Pannonia as part of it, will continue to act for some businesses, particularly in disciplines of um, commercial real estate, and we will also be acting in domestic conveyancing as well and international property transactions. We'll be acting for businesses in relation to disputes, settling disputes, including in the field of construction litigation, which will be uh, undertaken within Slater and Gordon. Um, and we will also be acting for some employers um, in relation to employment matters. So we will be continuing with a significant amount of business work. But as part of this transaction, um, a smaller business will also be created, which we will be calling Pannoni Corporate, um, where we will be acting to support um, more corporate, more larger corporate clients um, in areas of corporate, corporate finance, commercial work, and some aspects of dispute resolution and employment. The way in which uh, Emma and the rest of the people at Pannoni have uh, approached uh, this, this whole idea of focusing on areas that you are particularly good at applies to both sides of the, uh, the former Pannoni business and uh, the new company that will be co focusing on purely corporate work, uh, I think that gives them a real opportunity. Uh, in the sort of markets as they go forward. One of the real advantages of a merger like this is that we can actually make legal services more affordable for clients than they were in the past because we have the resources to be able to invest in uh, technology, invest in getting the right sort of mix of people to be able to do the work for, for individual clients. We're absolutely committed to the idea 
the clients will get best value from, from any case that, uh, that they bring to our firm. The service we give will be enhanced um, because of the greater strength and depth that combining all of these businesses together will bring. Pannoni has a very strong reputation in the work that we undertake, particularly in the fields of personal injury and clinical negligence, and services generally to injured people. Um, and we will continue to do that on a deeper level and to grow that service across the country. One of the hallmarks of Slater and Gordon's strategy is to create inch wide, mile deep legal services so that clients know they are coming to true experts and we want to offer that service to all our clients um, across a wide range of disciplines. We see this and I know that uh, the people at Pannoni see it exactly the same way. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity we think to bring the best firms together. And that does mean an element of change but that does really mean that uh, from a client's point of view it's really exciting news.